Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Kachapuri, a flatbread filled with melted cheese and often with an egg in the center. Kachapuri is a traditional Georgian pastry that is a staple of Georgian cuisine and a popular street food. It is essentially a bread that is filled with melted cheese and sometimes other ingredients such as eggs, spinach, or potatoes. The dough is typically made from flour, water, yeast, and salt, and is shaped into a round or oval flatbread. The cheese filling is made from a variety of Georgian cheeses, which are often mixed together to create a unique and flavorful filling. The bread is then baked in an oven or on a griddle until it is golden brown and the cheese is melted. Kachapuri is enjoyed as a breakfast, lunch, or dinner dish and is often served with a side of fresh herbs, such as cilantro or parsley. Kinkali, large dumplings steamed and filled with meat, vegetables, or cheese. Kinkali is a type of dumpling that is a popular street food in Georgia. It is made from a simple dough of flour, water, and salt, which is rolled out and cut into circles. The filling is usually made from a mixture of ground meat, beef or pork, and spices, although vegetarian options also exist. To make kinkali, a spoonful of the filling is placed in the center of each dough circle, which is then folded and twisted to create a distinctive pleated shape. The dumplings are then boiled in salted water until they are cooked through and are traditionally eaten by holding onto the top knot and biting off the bottom to slurp out the flavorful broth inside. Kinkali is often served as an appetizer or a main course and can be found in various restaurants and street food stalls throughout Georgia. It is considered a cultural symbol of Georgian cuisine and is often enjoyed with a glass of Georgian wine or beer. Nsvadi, grilled meat skewers, usually made with marinated pork. Nsvadi is a traditional Georgian dish that consists of marinated and grilled meat skewers. The dish is usually made with pork, although beef and lamb are also sometimes used. The meat is cut into cubes and marinated in a mixture of vinegar, oil, salt, and spices for several hours to tenderize and flavor it. Once the meat has marinated, it is skewered and cooked over hot coals on a grill or open flame until it is browned and cooked through. The skewers are then served with a side of sliced onions and fresh herbs, such as cilantro or parsley. Tzvadi is a popular street food in Georgia and is often enjoyed with a glass of wine or beer. It is also a traditional dish served at Georgian feasts and celebrations and is considered an important part of Georgian culinary heritage. Lobiani, a bread stuffed with red beans and spices. Lobiani is a traditional Georgian bread that is stuffed with a savory filling of spiced mashed beans, usually red kidney beans. The dough is made from flour, yeast, salt, and water, and is rolled out into a thin oval or rectangular shape. To make the filling, the beans are cooked until they are soft and then mashed together with garlic, onion, and a mixture of spices such as coriander, cumin, and paprika. The filling is then spread onto one half of the dough, and the other half is folded over to encase the filling. The edges are crimped together to seal the filling inside. The loaf is then baked in an oven until it is golden brown and cooked through. Once it is cooked, it is typically brushed with butter or oil to add flavor and moisture. Lobiani is a popular street food in Georgia and is often eaten as a snack or as a meal with a side of fresh vegetables or salad. It is also a common dish served during religious festivals and celebrations in Georgia, particularly during the Christmas and Easter seasons. Church Kila, a traditional candy made of nuts dipped in grape syrup and dried. Church kila is a traditional Georgian sweet that is made by dipping strings of nuts, such as walnuts, hazelnuts, or almonds, into a thickened grape juice and flour mixture, and then letting it dry into a sausage-shaped candy. The resulting candy is sweet, 
chewy, and nutty, and is a popular snack and souvenir in Georgia. To make church kila, the grape juice is boiled down with flour, sugar, and spices to form a thick, sticky syrup. The nuts are then threaded onto a string and dipped into the syrup, coating them completely. The strings of nuts are then hung up to dry, usually for several days, until the syrup has hardened into a firm candy shell. Church kila is often enjoyed as a snack or dessert and is sometimes served with a glass of Georgian wine. It is a traditional food that is especially popular during the grape harvest season and is also commonly given as a gift during holidays and special occasions. Chicken Kebab, Marinated and Grilled Chicken Skewers Chicken kebab is a popular street food in Georgia, as well as in many other parts of the world. It is made by marinating cubes of chicken in a mixture of yogurt, lemon juice, olive oil, and spices such as paprika, cumin, and coriander. The chicken is then skewered and grilled over an open flame or on a charcoal grill until it is cooked through and has a nice char on the outside. In Georgia, chicken kebab is often served with a side of fresh vegetables, such as tomatoes, cucumbers, and onions, as well as a side of bread or rice. It is sometimes also served with a spicy tomato sauce or a yogurt-based sauce. Chicken kebab is a popular street food because it is relatively quick and easy to prepare and can be eaten on the go. It is also a versatile dish that can be made with a variety of different spices and marinades and can be served in many different ways. Pali, a salad made of finely chopped green vegetables, nuts, and spices. Pali is a traditional Georgian dish that is typically made with a mixture of finely chopped vegetables, such as spinach, beet greens, or cabbage, mixed with ground walnuts, garlic, and spices. The mixture is then shaped into small patties or balls and served cold as an appetizer or side dish. To make pali, the vegetables are blanched or boiled until they are tender and then drained and finely chopped. The walnuts are ground into a fine paste and mixed with garlic, salt, and spices such as coriander and cumin. The walnut mixture is then mixed with the chopped vegetables until well combined, and the mixture is shaped into small patties or balls. Pali is often served with a side of fresh herbs such as cilantro or parsley and a garnish of pomegranate seeds. It is a healthy and flavorful vegetarian dish that is popular in Georgia, particularly during the summer months when fresh vegetables are abundant.